right, mathematicians, our next lesson is on multiplying integers. Um, as you can see, there are two sets on the same page. That's just in case you mess up or you want to give one to a friend. Um, and this is number 10 and number 11 for the page numbers, so you can update your table of contents accordingly. Um, it should only take two pages. If it takes more for you, that's fine. Um, well, let's get started with multiplying integers. First thing you're going to do is cut out these notes here. Then we'll do some example problems on the right side, and I'll give you some problems to do on the left side. All right, now that you have one of those cut out, you'll kind of notice that they are in a separate ways. So what you're gonna do is you're actually going to fold this along the solid line. And we want to be able to open up just one of these at a time. So if you haven't already, you're going to cut along this dashed line as well. Okay. And there we go. So we're going to go over multiplication and division separately. Okay. So... All right, I took this out of the book so that you could see it a little bit clearer. We have some rules when we multiply and when we divide. So if you open up this multiplication one here, I've already written the notes down, but I'm going to explain them. So if you'd like to pause them um, and then take the notes and then walk through my explanation, that's fine. Or you can write as I'm talking. Um, but first up, we have a positive number times a positive number. That equals another positive number. Um, for example, a positive 3 times a positive 2, that's going to give you a positive 6. And next we have a positive number times a negative number. So when you do that, you get a negative value. So 4 times negative 5, for example, would give you negative 20. Uh, and again, we're going to keep going. Negative number times a negative number equals a positive number. So this one's where it's kind of weird. So why would two negatives make a positive? And what I like to do and how I kind of like to think about this is if a good per if a good thing happens to a good person, it's a good thing, right? Something nice happens to someone you like or someone else that's nice, that's really good. If something good happens to someone that's bad, that's a bad turnout. Usually you don't want something good to happen to someone that's bad. In this way, if something bad happens to somebody that's bad, it's a good thing. So it's kind of one way you can think about how two negatives can make a positive. Um, and if we keep going here, a negative times a positive is a negative because if something bad happens to a good person, it's a bad thing. And the examples that match up are negative five times negative eight. Those two negatives make positive 40. Negative six times positive two. When you line those up, a negative and a positive equals negative 12. Now a pattern that you should see is that when two numbers have the same sign, positive, positive, or negative, negative, it's a positive outcome. If they have different signs, it is a negative outcome, right? So here's blue and blue is blue. Red and red is blue, right? But blue and red is red. Red and blue is red, right? The red stands for negative, blue for positive. And believe it or not, division um, is the same rules, okay? So we are gonna take the notes on those. I'm gonna um, have them written down for you so you can write them down, but they are the same rules. And so those are your rules for division, All right? So positive divided by a positive, like 10 divided by two, is gonna be a positive five. Um, positive divided by a negative, 10 divided by negative two would be a negative five. Negative divided by a negative, negative 20 divided by negative four is positive five. And negative 20 divided by positive four is gonna be negative five. That's a negative divided by a positive. So there you have it for your rules. And if we bring back 
our interactive notebook here, you are going to tape or glue the back part down so that you can flip it open and see the rules. And you don't want to do it in the middle because we're going to have some practice problems. So do it right about, leave one line is probably fine. Do it right there. All right, I wanted to show you these two examples specifically because they look different than problems that you may have seen before. Um, right here, for example, one, we have negative five times seven. So we have a positive times a positive, that should be a positive number, right? However, look at this negative symbol on the outside. What this means is you're really doing negative one times five and times seven. Now, if you didn't learn it in sixth grade, you should know, hopefully by now, that um, parentheses, when they're next to each other, that means multiplication. So it means the same thing as if I were to open this up and put a dot right here, okay? They mean the same thing. So when we multiply three numbers, we're gonna do two at a time. So negative one times five, that's a negative times a positive. That's going to give me a negative five. And then I'm going to bring down this positive seven. And now I have a negative times a positive again, so that's going to be negative 35. Negative five times seven is negative 35. And on to example two. Again, we have three, so we're gonna do two at a time. We've got a negative times a negative, so negative three times negative two, that actually makes right, a positive six. And we're multiplying that by positive eight. And a positive times a positive is a positive, and six times eight is 48. So those are your two examples that go with this lesson. On the left side of your book, you're going to do these four problems. You're evaluating 9 times negative 8, 3 times negative 6 times 4, negative 144 divided by 12, and negative 98 divided by 7. And when you're done, you're going to show that to your teachers so they know that you understand the material. And then you can move on to the practice problems.